Many exceptional artists have hailed from the great city of Salt Lake, but perhaps none had a greater influence on the look, feel, and energy of their specific generation than John Held Jr. Born in Salt Lake City in 1889, John Held Jr. had but minimal formal education in the arts, studying only briefly under the famed sculptor Mahanri Young, the grandson of Brigham Young, whose work includes This Is The Place Monument. But John Held Jr.'s true talent lie in illustration, and by the age of 15, Held had already sold his first piece for publication, and soon after that, he went to work as a cartoonist for the Salt Lake Tribune. A short time later, Held packed up and relocated to New York to further explore his artistic endeavors. There, he found a wide audience and much acclaim for his energetic, stylized paintings and illustrations that came to be synonymous with the style and culture of the Jazz Age. His stark and manic depictions of flappers, musicians, lovers, and drunks leapt from the pages of such iconic publications as The New Yorker, Vanity Fair, and Life, just to name a few and his unmistakable and unique style has been revered and imitated ever since. In addition to his work for various ad agencies, publishers, and comic strips, Held later turned primarily toward writing and illustrating books as the Roaring Twenties came to a close. In one such book, The Saga of Frankie and Johnny, a variation on a classic murder ballad that he translated with his signature charm and wit, Held included a loving tribute of sorts to his hometown and the misspent youth that inspired so much of his work. Quote, the engraving of these blocks has taken many hours and a strong right arm, but in doing them I have lived again a wild free existence in an inter-Rocky Mountain settlement with my friends, the whores, the pimps, the gamblers, the hopheads, and the lenient police who used to know the Mormon kid. Held died in 1958 at age 69 of throat cancer.